Hmm. Okay. Hi guys, and welcome back into Blender. Well, welcome to Blender. Um, so what we're going to do is open up our dev kit so that we can get the first act body in here and start working it. So what we're going to do is go File, um, Open, and then you're going to select female athlete female mannequin clothing or the male one whichever one you know, work with um the male and the female are pre pretty much exactly the same so if you're using the male dev kit um you can still follow along with the same process it's just you don't have to have boobs <laughs> to your clothes so um what we're going to do is prepare our body for marvelous designer um, when you see this and may confuse you at first because you'll see those hand bones and you're like oh my gosh bento but don't be fooled, that's totally not bento. These are just um, hand bones that the creators threw in there for people who wanted to make uh, gloves and something like that or make custom hand um, positions or something for their body because this is pre-bento, you know, classic and stuff. Um, so you had to pose and make your own hands and stuff like that not make animations so that's what those hand bones are really for it's not bento so yeah don't jump in anything again it's a bento model no it's not <laughs> okay so what we're going to need to do is um switch over to the body that we'll be working with i have the athletic wolf body though so i'll need to use the wolf mannequin so i'm going to close the eyes of the avatars that i'm not using so that would be the female the human and the hand bones because I don't need those Now they put the wolf body on the second layer so I just click over and I have the um, body all here loaded in for us so we got one more step to do and then we're ready for marvelous um, I'm gonna need you to click on your avatar and I need to turn on screencast so you can see what I'm doing sorry I never have these on all right there you go all right so now you're just gonna right click on the body and it's gonna glow orange yellow like so then you're gonna hold shift and D and make a duplicate of it and you're gonna click and then you're going to uh, like with the duplicate still highlight like so you're gonna press the M key and you're gonna move it to another layer now we're gonna navigate to that layer that we just made and the body should still be selected if not just click on it it's no big deal then we're going to press r negative 90. whoops nope we're not gonna press that we're going to press r z negative 90 and that's going to turn this in the right direction because as is uh the body isn't in the right direction to make clothes in marvelous designer if we were to import it in as is the mannequin will be like this <laughs> so we need to flip it around real quick so once it's flipped like that we're just going to click on it and then we're going to export it to our project folder which I think I saved yes we save here this is from an earlier test run that's how I know it came in sideways so you can name it whatever you want I'm just going to leave it as the uh, athletic clothing mannequin which actually fits for what it is um, and then you're going to check this box on the side. You're going to look over here on the left hand side and scroll down and make sure that this box that says selection only is checked. Now before you hit export, you're going to want to press this plus button right here and you want to save this as a template. Just name it something like Marvelous Mannequin um, Dummy or whatever and then hit OK. That way um, you can just from now on select it from the preset menu here and you don't have to worry about if you checked something wrong or whatever or if you missed something because yeah you just clicked it from here and all the settings are saved and then you can press uh, press uh, export and then we save it and that's it so our avatar is all ready and done up for marvelous so all we have to do now is just jump over in marvelous designer and start designing clothes <laughs> 